Okay, hello, good morning. Stellware Digger with you. I brought the macro eraser out. I attached the uh, optional RC29 elliptical double D coil to the machine. Been uh, trying it out this morning. Really like it. It's uh, lighter than the uh, stock RC26. Got an 82 signal, 77, but a very nice repeatable signal. And I found nice flat button here with the uh, shank still attached so that's always nice <sighs> tiny cuff button I believe nice fits the period of the home where I'm hunting this is a colonial home alright I've been here before I came out with the uh, CTX 3030 alright so there you go nice uh, start to a good morning hunt flat button alright I'll see you at the next find Okay, hello, welcome back. I'm at the next target. It's part of this uh, buckle here, very small buckle piece. It was reading uh, 67, 64 on the racer, down about six inches. Nice find, very solid signal. Definitely, I'll keep that. That's 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 a nice one. Okay, let's see if we can find some more relics. All right, I am at the next target, reading 82.83 on the racer, the RC29 uh, coil. Got another buckle here. All right, that's nice, very nice. Okay, let's push on and uh, see if we can't pull some more relics out of the ground here. All right, all right. I'm at the next uh, signal, down about six inches. It's uh, what remains of a pocket watch. Here's the innards, there's the uh, front face. Other parts here that I've took out of the hole. I tell you, I'm really starting to uh, enjoy using the RC29 elliptical double D coil. Very light, it's lighter than the stock coil. Nice and smooth. No edges to get caught. I'm just kind of gliding right over top of the, uh, you know, the top of the uh, the grass here. It's really working well. I'm extremely happy with it. So there you go, another piece of Americana pocket watch. All right, having a great day. Okay, I'll see you at the next find. Okay, I'm at the uh, next target. Nice little brass uh, or copper washer here. Down about four and a half, five inches. 82 on the uh, racer. Okay, gonna push on. See what else we can find. All right, all right. Hello, welcome back. I'm at the next target. You can see uh, on this piece of clod here where this uh, item was sitting. Brought it out, wiped it off a little bit. Nice flat button. Shank still attached, bent over. Nice silver wash on this uh, button here. 74 on the racer with the RC29 coil. Very nice, very nice. I like that. Okay, we're pressing on and we'll see what else we can find.
Okay, this next target ranks 78, 79, 80, 81. Uh, down about four inches actually. Came up with a 1901 Indian head penny. Very pleased with that. Good score. All right, 1901 Indian head penny. Okay, all right, I'll see you at the next one. All right, I just had uh, a really awesome moment here, uh, swinging the RC-29 coil back and forth over the signal, reading 82, 83, and then it jumped to uh, like 51, 50, but it kept resonating on that 80 tone, and uh, it was very consistent. A little scratchy, but it kept coming out very consistent. And uh, first I pulled out this big iron ring here and I said yo oh, wait a minute there's something going on let me recheck the hole so I poked around with the pinpointer and sure enough I brought out this very nice cuff button very nice designs on it shank still attached so I just want to say that uh, I'm, I, that's a very nice uh, find and you know the the racer hey he brought the tones out even though I, I, I knew there was something going on Wow, that's great. I really like that. Very nice button, cufflink. All right, I'll press on a little bit more. I'm in the uh, front yard right now, so let's see what else we can find. All right, all right. 80, 81, 82. Next target. Paper side shotgun shell head stamp. Winchester repeater. All right. Nice solid signal. Okay. See you at the next farm. Okay, I'm at the next find. Down about four and a half inches. Some type of reed. You see where the reeds were in place on this uh, item here. I'm not too familiar with this this type of reed. I haven't found any of these before, but uh, nonetheless, a nice find. Okay, moving on. All right, I'm at the next target. I can see it's a wheat scent. All I can read, I scratch with my nail, is 1920. So uh, not too sure exactly of the of the date. It's either a 1920 or a 1921, but uh, nice solid signal. Nice 7980. Let's uh, see what it is out of the ground. 83 out of the ground. All right, so there you go. There's another find. That's a nice. All right, I'll see you at the next one. Okay, all right, I'm at the next signal. You can see part of the where the uh, coin was pressed in there. I do have a coin here. Okay, I can see that it is a uh, wheat scent on the back side. Front side is very, very dirty. Let's see. Okay. All right, so hang tight, and I'll try to clean it up and see what kind of uh, what year we have here. This will be the uh, the last plug for today. I've had a wonderful time. I thank each and every one of you for uh, joining me. All right, stay tuned. Okay, I got him cleaned up, and uh, what we got here is a 1940 plain wheat scent. Okay. That's going to do it for today's hunt. I did uh, bring along the Sunway Pro headphones. I've been using the headphones with the racer today. And uh, 
hang tight and I'll do a uh, roundup. All right. Hey, hey, what's happening? I'm back from the hunt and this is the roundup. It got a little bit windy out there, so this was going to be the roundup, all right? Okay, so we got the 1901 Indian Head Penny, a couple buckles, got this piece of uh, some type of musical instrument. I think I did find a couple more pieces of reeds, maybe. I got three flat buttons, well, two flat buttons, actually. One's got some nice silver gilt on it. Got this round button. Pretty cool designs on it. Got a shotgun shell head stamp, part of an old spoon, a couple of washers, 1920, 1940 wheat scent, memorial scent, and there you go. All right, well, we will see you at the next find.